So with a huge spike in Bitcoin's price, you decide that you want to get involved in cryptocurrency. But again, just like the previous spike, you got all that excitement. You don't really know where to go from there. So we're going to cover real quick, basically uh, six levels of you know engagement or enthusiasm that a lot of people have when it comes re related to cryptocurrencies or blockchain, right? So depending on where you're at, um, you know, I'll give you some information on what tools you can look into if you want to expand your knowledge in that level and what tools you should look into if you want to move on to the next level, right? So starting with number one, we're gonna look at cash flow participants. Now, cash flow participants, that's where everybody starts off. That's, you know about cryptocurrency, you know Bitcoin's a thing. Maybe you know you know it can be used for transactions, for investment. But other than that, you don't, you don't go too deep into it, right? You know that there's this thing called a blockchain, you know it can be used for transaction engagement. And you're probably familiar with apps such as Coinbase, Robinhood, Trust Wallet, and even something like MetaMask, right? And of course, some you know mainstream apps such as like PayPal and Cash App are starting to employ them. So that's usually where everybody starts off, right? We hear about this thing, it's called Bitcoin, it's worth a lot. So if you want to move on to the next level, or I guess what I would call informed users, and you probably start, you want to start learning more about basic cryptocurrencies and, you know, you want to start researching a little more into how these transactions work. And, you know, you're probably doing trades at this point, right? You're buying a coin, hoping that it'll go up in price and, you know, just like you would handle regular investments. So at this point, if you want to become more of an informed user, you start getting knowledge on, you know, the blockchain, on cryptocurrencies and on how to use wallets for transactions. And if that's something that you still haven't really touched on, you might want to you might want to look into products such as Binance, Ledger Nano, Trezor, Trezor, or even Crypto.com. Again, at this point, you you also might want to consider getting maybe a free course or a paid course on something like Udemy or like Coinbase Learn, right? So after that, we have our level three enthusiasts. These are people that are more seasoned traders than developers. So at this point, you have a more solid understanding of the market dynamics and you're beginning to engage with blockchain technology more directly. You're more active in market trades and you're starting to explore, you're starting to explore more complex technologies such as smart contracts and dApps, what they call decentralized apps, right? If you, if this is, I think this is where it starts getting a little more technological for people and I think this is where people might become a little more intimidated but if there's products or you know applications you want to look to, you want to look into researching so you can expand your knowledge in these matters, you can look at apps like Uniswap, OpenSea, and Compound. So the next level we have level four. This would be what I would say are blockchain integrators, right? So you have more of a, you probably have more technological experience. You're a developer. You start developing technology, working with technologies a little more in depth. And you start integrating blockchain into other projects or, you know, D apps, right? So I think a big part of, you know, getting to this level is going to be having, having develop, having developmental skills in the blockchain, as well as knowing and having experience in deploying smart contracts. And I think this is where we get away from coins as Bitcoin, which are just used for purchasing, you know, mainly for purchasing value. And then you start looking at more blockchain dependent or blockchain implementative technologies such as Ethereum, IPFS, and you know, technologies like Chainlink. Then you have your level five, which would be blockchain innovators, right? So at this point, these people are basically experts in this blockchain industry. They're leap, they're more deeply knowledgeable in it and they're capable of, you know, launching their own protocols and innovative, you know, D apps on there. This would involve having deep knowledge on blockchain architecture as well as like innovative solutions in those manners. As far as apps or products you could look into, if you want to further your knowledge or just get more experience at this level, you look at things like Polkadot, Filecoin, and Aave. You could also even look at emerging technologies such as companies like Solana and Cardano. And last, of course, you have level six, which I would say these are like the visionary pioneers. And I think that's where the big jump comes in terms of the knowledge gap that people think that you're either trading Bitcoins or you're making your own coin. That's definitely not true. People that are at this category, they're of course the ones that have like a very deep understanding in blockchain technology and theory, as well as, you know, probably like entrepreneurial, 
as well as entrepreneurial leadership in terms of the future direction of these technologies. So at this point, you might want to look into not so much products, but rather people that have been some of the most influential in the current in the current market for blockchain technology, right? So people like Vitalik Buterin, Satoshi Nakamoto, Blockstream, Lightning Labs, any of those companies or any of those founders, that would be more, I guess, the kind of people you want to look into so you could find what their pathways so you could find what their pathway was to lead them into this field of technology, right? I hope you found this helpful. I'm gonna put this together with a list of all the with a list of all the products, technologies, people that we mentioned on here. So you can do your research as you expand your knowledge in crypto technology. Uh, that's definitely not going everywhere. That's definitely not going anywhere, even though it might still be very volatile, even though it might still be very un unpredictable. If it's something that interests you, especially if you like things like finance and investment, I would definitely say they benefit greatly in the long run, you know, becoming educated on this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.